Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I'm gonna do a taste test on this grass-fed beef and uncured bacon jalapeno bar. Wow. A bacon jalapeno bar. So I guess you can look at it as a protein bar, but a straight up meat. It doesn't look like jerky. It's really thick to be jerky. Plus it looks like it's uh, wet. It looks like it has some type of uh, liquid in there. To me, it feels a little bit more like beef sticks. It's just in a bar shape, but yeah, it looks interesting. I definitely love jalapeno and bacon yeah. so they got me with the name i got this one on my last keto crate and i have the website right here and it says that it's 2.99 if it's good it's gonna be worth it because it's not tiny plus you know it's meat so i'm interested to see if this is gonna be worth the three dollar price tag but before i taste it let's get into the nutritional facts here so one bar is one serving it's 140 calories nine grams of fat one gram of carbs which is sugar and then 14 grams of protein so it is basically a protein bar the top ingredients seem to be meat and bacon so that's a good sign the name of the company that makes this is dnx I've never heard of them before, but if this thing is as good as I think it is, I'm definitely gonna be buying a lot of their products. All right, so let's get into this. The package is really easy to open, even though it looks like it's gonna be difficult. It just has like a peel tag right there. I don't know why this is nice, this feels good. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. It does not look good, but it smells delicious. I can see some of the green from the okay. jalapeno. Ooh, makes my mouth water. Let's put it on. Put it on. Is that bueno? Is that picoso? Mm. I like the texture. It does. It does have the same texture as the beef sticks. Ooh. Alright, so Risa likes it. Do you know? Ria doesn't like it. She likes it. But we're going to keep it Spicy. Um, she thinks it's spicy. It's a little spicy. This reminds me a little bit of the MREs, the army meals ready to eat. So the stuff in there is kind of similar to this. It's good. It has good flavor, but the after, like, it's not even the aftertaste. It's the aftertaste is more spicy, but right before you get to the spice, there's a little bit of like a preservative type of taste. It goes away quick. I don't taste the bacon as much, but then at the end, you got a nice little spice. Uh, it feels good on the tongue. Yeah, I can definitely eat this whole thing. Maybe you want to try it? It's really good. No? It looks a little bit like Spam, but... A little darker. Darker, but it doesn't taste at all like Spam. After a while, I don't really feel that preservative taste. I don't know if it just got all the spiciness. It's just kind of blending in. This is definitely good. I would buy this again. Uh, $3 isn't terrible, especially if you buy bulk. Hopefully, it's cheaper. Most of the time, it is. Like I said, it is a little spicy, so the fact that uh, she's still eating it. Well, it lets me know that she's, she's getting better at spicy food. She's not the greatest with spicy food. But she does eat it though. So I'm probably going to finish this one right now. Mm. It doesn't seem like something you can kind of save just because the wetness. Uh, it, uh, it almost seems like once you open it, you got to eat it. Maybe I'm about to finish it. You want to taste a little bit? It's like jerky. It's a good flavor. Oh, well. So I said I finished it. It's good. <coughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I have a bunch of videos coming up. I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. -bye. Bye.